President Taga Ndechlema has prioritized the development of transport corridors as they are essential to improving trade facilitation and enhancing social economic integration in the Southern African region. It is for this reason that President Ichlema saw it fit to attend the inauguration of the expanded and modernized Nankala port in northern Mozambique, which solidifies the existing warm bilateral relations that Zambia enjoys with Mozambique and Malawi. The expanded and modernized facilities at the Nankara port in Mozambique will help to increase efficiency in handling larger volumes of cargo, promote safe and competitive transportation along the corridor, lower the transit transport costs and ensure faster delivery of goods. The Nankara corridor encompasses Zambia, Mozambique and Malawi. If I may simply say once more to thank you for all of this initiative that we are taking forward and we in the hinterland will pick it up from there and get our lives, lives of our people, people lives of the Mozambicans, Malawians and Zambians you know, improved, opportunities for business, opportunity to trade, to invest with each other. Last time I mentioned, Mr. President, that uh, we are keen, we in Zambia, with a dramatic discovery of critical minerals. We are keen to invest with our brothers in Mozambique, our brothers in Malawi. Some of these projects must be invested in by Mozambicans, by Malawians, by Zambians. Through the execution of these agreements, I look forward to a vibrant Nakara corridor that is attractive to both local and international investors. We will have to use these agreements to ensure that we continue to improve transport and trade facilitation through the removal of non-trade barriers to trade. Mozambican President Felipe Nusi said the expanded and modernized port of Nankara will increase the facilities, flexibility and competitiveness. It is a demonstration of a, a good economic relations among our countries. The presence of uh, the highest dignitaries of Malawi and Zambia confers the Nakala port a magnitude of uh, an uh, structuring undertaking in the Sadek region with a significant potential to leverage economic growth of our country and of our region. The three presidents later signed the Trapatite Institutional Agreement on the Nankara Development Corridor, which will result in enhanced cross-border coordination. Transport ministers in the three countries also signed agreements in the areas of road and rail, which will lead to efficient cross-border transport and ease the movements of goods and boost private sector investments. The rehabilitation of the Nankara Deep Water Port has costed the Mozambican government 330 million United States dollars with the modernized port. It has now increased its handling capacity of 250,000 containers against the previous capacity of 100,000 containers per day. The president returned to Zambia immediately after winding up his official business in Mozambique. Kalan Uchima reporting for the news.